Close your eyes and watch your breath. You can watch it anywhere, but when you're sitting here with your eyes closed, it's a lot easier to see it in a lot of detail. When it comes in, at what point does it feel like it's too much? Or when you breathe out too quickly, how do you know that? Try to notice these things. Get sensitive to how the body is sensitive. Because the body needs help. We hear so much about the body's wisdom. Well, the body can be pretty dumb about some things. And sometimes you need to help it. If the mind were here, the body wouldn't be able to move, much less function in any way. So you pay careful attention to the breath, and that gives us some space to breathe. Then you ask yourself, what kind of breathing would feel good? Sometimes the body will respond, and sometimes you have to nudge it. That's so why you get the combined alertness of the body and the alertness of the mind working together. And the mind can be informed. When the body can't hear anything on its own, it's the mind that really listens and understands. And then it translates those messages into the body. So we have a mind that can listen, can hear the teachings of the Buddha, get some benefit from them. And then both body and mind can benefit. The body's stronger when it breathes well. It's less likely to get disease. And John Lee talks about all the various things that the breath can do for you in terms of the heart, the lungs, the digestion. It's all free medicine. No matter what happens to the healthcare system here in this country, we still have this free medicine to depend on. So make the most of it. Think of the story of a John Lee off in the forest, days away from any doctor. He had a heart attack, and he was able to use the breath to pull himself together. And after three months, he was able to walk out. It took three days to walk out. He was that far into the jungle. But the breath, working together with the mind, can do a lot. As John Lee says, the, your mindfulness is the actual medicine. Your alertness is the medicine. And the breath is simply the, the vehicle by which the medicine gets delivered to different parts of the body. So give a lot of attention. Be really alert to what you're doing. Be mindful about what you're doing. And let that mindfulness spread through the body. Let it be immersed in the body, as the Buddha says. And that way both gain strength. <laughs>